Oh, it's uh, Wednesday, March 28th, 2012, and it's time for Comets X. Almost forgot what day it was today. Now. Now. <laughs> uh, that's what happens uh, when fatigue starts to sit in. Um, your knowledge uh, and remembrance of what day is what disappears. And depending on how, how much time you spend with your head down, not looking at the time, uh, whole months can go by before you realize uh, what day or what uh, month it is. So you could lose an entire month of February like that. I certainly did. I lost. I lost all of all of February. I was somewhat here, but I didn't realize that. We, even though I was saying the day, I didn't really realize what uh, month it was. I was so focused on my work that I got, got you know moving through things that uh, I kind of forgot the entire month of February. Just sort of, it was this, it was December thirty first. Started doing the Comets X. Started working on things, concentrating on getting things working forward. Then I started working on the news, and <laughs> before I realized that well, February had uh, uh, had passed, and uh, I'm getting better at, better at this. Th this, but uh, I'm still tired. Uh, I'm adding in some more cleaning. Uh, what else am I doing? Uh, more reading, more studying. Uh, I'm gonna try to add some more uh, work in as well. Uh, I've got to really fix up my back machine shop. The I, I this is some way back when from well, this was this is what fatigue does you. Way back when is is in uh, the beginning of uh, comments. That's what I was talking about doing uh, the Freegan halls. The materials that I got in f uh, from the dumpster. I haven't been processed yet. They're just sort of sitting there. I haven't had a chance yet to get down there, to get back there and process everything. I've done some of the cleaning work back there, but I haven't had a chance to do the processing yet. So uh, I hope to get to that uh, this week and uh, this weekend to finish doing that. Uh, I'm going to start working on some of my cooking again, uh, fixing up my kitchen. So uh, I, uh, I should, I should be starting to get more options out there. Uh, I have to. Uh, so I'm still working on cleaning up my hard drive, my uh, my library hard drive, in terms of the, uh, the library server. I and mean, there's more than one hard drive. It's, it behaves as one hard drive, but it, uh, it's actually a whole series of it's uh, three hard drives. Each, uh, there's three one terabyte hard drives, and so I've got to add another two terabytes to it. And then at some point in time, given the amount of uh, information stored on there, uh, if I ever get enough money to do this, I have to add a mirroring system on there, so that the system stays mirrored and everything backed up. Uh, that being said. Uh, I forgot what I'm going to say. Oh, yeah. Uh, news, the news was pretty good last night. I'm still doing some more work. To, still working out some of the sources that I need to work out. Um, Got to get more people watching the news. But uh, that's kind of hard to do because very few people watch the news anyway. So uh, this news isn't necessarily the most exciting thing. So uh, who's going to watch it? We'll see. Uh, still got to push push forward on this. Uh, but they definitely do have to, for this week, get the first uh, economic sh the economic uh, show out there. Do That's going to be once a week because, uh, uh, ironically enough, uh, economics really doesn't move that fast. Economics uh, works basically uh, uh, by the quarter, and that's every three months. So if you do a weekly show on, the, on economics, that's uh, more than sufficient to get everything done. Uh, as for uh, 
the Bass Institute uh, documentary, if I, if I, if I, I'm going to try to sort of pick up the pace today and see if I can get more uh, recorded. Uh, I'm going to continue doing the definition reading and going further into the definition. I just got to do some fixing up uh, for this. And once the fixing up is done, uh, then I will proceed uh, to do uh, the documentary. And I should finish the fixing up today. All I have to do is I have to re replace uh, some of the, the, this computer is on a stand. I had to replace that stand, and there is another dictionary that I have. It's actually a big, it's a massive, uh, and you'll see it. It's a massive encyclopedia, a science encyclopedia, uh, pre 1960s, and that goes with the dictionary that's here. The dictionary is right beside here. This this is this is my reading here. This is where I sit and read it and uh, do a lot of my. Uh, 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 studying in, ter if in terms of uh, if I'm just sort of sitting down reading and, and I want to take some notes, my note system is right in front here on my computer. This is connected to the network and I can uh, put my in w into the wiki note system. I can have it go across the network and store it in a main, in a main file. I don't ha always work off, I never really work off the master file. I, I always synchronize or sync to the uh, master file because you need to have the root if you always need to work off the master file the f master file then you can't move the com this computer off anywhere and if you make a mistake you damage the master file so it's always better to work on something local or or, or regional than it is to work off of a master file and then what you do afterwards is once you've worked on a local file you sync it up to the master file uh, to have your main record, and you, th that's the way you do it. You're not supposed to, as as a researcher, you're not really supposed to, in your lab books, erase the mistakes. You note and highlight them, uh, and then the correction comes further down. So uh, that's the way it's done. Oh, and I'm using the wiki note system like my lab book and I'm following the lab note journaling system in that in that respect. Uh, so I'll be doing more work on the Bass Institute channel. I should have uh, some more information coming up for the uh, Academia University uh, student employment program. So if that's where your focus is right now, there will be more coming up. Uh, this week, and for those of you who are going to be studying library science, the documentary on the Bass Institute is the one you want to look at for the for library science because it's going to be using library science. You'll be able to see library science in use. Uh, if you're a, a reader or a nerd fighter or whatever you want to call yourself, uh, you're more than welcome to come. You, you know, you, you actually should take a look at this because. Uh, this is right out of your book alley. This is uh, this is reading. This is this is taking reading to the next level. Uh, it, the, I'm still working on the introductory videos in terms of the, the easier parts of this, uh, and then later on we'll move off the dictionary into more into some of the fiction that's out there. Uh, I'm thinking of actually moving into the Hunger Games and uh, uh, pairing up the Hunger Games, as I said, with George Orwell's 1984 and doing. A book to book comparison between the two um, I think that might actually be next uh, I know Harry Potter is going to come in the series at some point in time I'm still trying to source some of the stuff I've got uh, uh, Harry Potter sourced back to uh, 1980 this is pre JK Rawlings uh, now I've got to see if I can push Harry Potter further back and there's a possibility of pushing Harry Potter for the back because Harry Potter comes out of a lore system, a, 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 a mythology system that's actually quite old. And the, the, the name Harry Potter and the whole Harry Potter story may have been part of this folklore that, that, that surrounds gnomes, trolls, fairies, and uh, witches. And of course, wizards, right? Uh, Harry Potter was a wizard, and there's, there, there's a whole group. There's a whole group of, in the magical realm uh, that are actually quite old. So the question is, how old is Harry Potter? 
is Harry Potter a recent story, right, as uh, just from the 1980s? Because we already know that uh, J.K. Rowling is not the original Harry Potter. Uh, so the question is, how old is Harry Potter? Because certainly the, the schools they're based on, actually, and this is the, the bizarre part, the schools they're based on uh, are Victorian. Like, you're going back to the 1800s for, you know, if you look at Hogwarts, Hogwarts is styled after the 1800s. But you can actually push Harry Bott Potter in terms of the folklore f much further back into the Scottish capitals, and this would be pre this would be pre a thousand A.D. You could easily push uh, Harry Potter back pre a thousand A.D., and that would be pre Latin. You wouldn't have uh, Latin being used inside of uh, magic. It would be another language. Uh, You would possibly, you could possibly push this into uh, Celtic and uh, Scottish folklore. You could certainly do that because uh, if I'm going to bring up another thing for Harry Potter, uh, I just have to do some little more digging on this and uh, and see if I can get the proper proper references for this, but. Uh, I think we can go all the way back into Scotland and into Ireland for a lot of the uh, lore surrounding Harry Potter. So that will that that will take us all the way back to. It would actually take us all the way back to uh, uh, Roman England. That would be. Still A.D. Roman England was still A.D. But it, it, it goes back. It goes quite far. I have, to, I have to go check my timelines. I have to. I think we get, I think we might even be able to get back up to uh, get uh, too close to about 100 AD in terms of in terms of the of uh, the folklore for Harry Potter. I don't think uh, Harry Potter would be BC, although he might. But we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see. At the, we'll see how far back we can push Harry Potter. How old Harry Potter though? See, here's what happens if Harry Potter. Is not a made is not necessarily in terms of uh, a recently made up character. Then Harry Potter, like fairies, witches, goblins, uh, uh, trolls, and all these other things, come from something known as oral tradition. And oral tradition is ancient. It's hard to put a date on oral tradition, uh, but you, sort, you, you you can somewhat do it, but it's very difficult because oral tradition is very hard, difficult to pin down. And now, with the DCA and the Digital Copyright Act, uh, doing a lot of this research, uh, some of the research goes into the legal territory where you have to sort of uh, break some of the copyright laws in order to get some of the materials. So, and then use some of the materials to break some of the copyright, law, uh, some of the copyright laws, even though uh, it's supposed to be for education, it's supposed to be for academic research. Uh, <laughs> uh, a lot of the uh, companies don't care about this and uh, they'll pursue a copyright issue regardless because uh, they, it, for them this is about business, this is about making money and it has nothing to do with academics and uh, that's what the way things work so uh, for part of it we're going to become we're going to become literary uh, pirates if you will <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to leave this for now. Uh, I'll see what work I can get done today. This is sort of the goal to see uh, how much work... Not, this, is the, this is the goal of the last few days. To see how much work I can get done during the day. Or my day, anyways. Uh, so, I will see you tonight for the news in a few hours. And uh, have a good one.